Hello rugby fans and welcome back to the channel. Today I am starting a brand new series on EA Sports Rugby 08. We're going to go and have an attempt at the classic, the legendary World League career mode on the game. Now I have gone classic here. Obviously you've seen on my channel that I have got Rugby 08 updated to 2021. But I've got lots of uh, series on the channel that are up to date and current. Rugby Challenge 4, Rugby Union Team Manager 3 for example. So I thought for this World Series we would kick it back. We would take it back to 2010. Uh, that is the mod I have got from the Rugby Forum. And we're going to play with some classical teams, players. And you shall see who I'm going to pick as our World League team. Because unfortunately... Bristol Bears or Bristol Rugby back then are not on this patch but I think that's a good thing again with the up-to-date like the up-to-date squads I have used the Bears for a lot of my series so for this one we're going to use a different team and it should be interesting to see how we go in the World League it is still a lot of fun to play to this day so before we jump into this new series, please do drop a like if you enjoy this content. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this World League and how I should go about recruitment and setting up the team, etc, etc. If you haven't already, please do move that subscribe button to keep up to date with the channel. Now let's get into it. Head on over to the game modes. Sorry, it's not game modes, is it? Yeah, it is game modes. New tournament. All the way down here to the World League. Now, before we get into it, I do want to just give a shout out to the guys over on the Rugby Forum as well. If you go on there, there's patches for all sorts of different seasons. So they do some incredible work over there and it is really simple to follow and an extremely good community so as always I do recommend going and checking that out over there. Um, this series is going to be a lot more arcadey and fun so I'm just going to do short matchups, five minutes on pro so I'm not the greatest at this game I will admit and here are the teams we can start with on this game. Now Leeds Carnegie. Lots of teams there to choose from. Some interesting ones. But as a Bristol Bears fan, I always look for a link. So here we go. The lights in this room are green. Who are we going to be? Connock Rugby. That's right, the former team of Pat Lamb, the Bristol Bears coach, we will be heading to Ireland and taking over the Connacht boys from 2010 in this World League series. So here we go. You have the task of managing a team who has been facing some tough times and is languishing in Division 3 of the World League. Many players have moved on, so the road to success will not be an easy one. Winning matches is the best way to secure your job and in the long term it will help you progress in your career. So here we are, the World League home stage. Wow, it's been a long, long time. We've got the job security team chemistry on the right. You've got the standings, you've got the latest news at the bottom. The transfer window opens on the 3rd of the 5th. You got recruitment, which is obviously blocked out until then. Trade history, practice, there's so much here. It still is such an incredible mode to play. 
Um, let's look at the standings and we'll go through each league. So here we are in the very, very bottom of the World League. We've got Leeds, Ulster, Western Force, the Lions, Cheetahs, Glasgow, Aeroni, Racing Metro, Benetton, Newport and the Highlanders. So this season we'll be looking to make our way up the table. This next division up. It's great because it's a mixture of teams from around the world. So we've got Cardiff, the Bulls, Newcastle, Edinburgh, London Irish, Clermont, Leinster, Toulon, the Sharks, Harlequins, Bath and Northampton. The division up from that, as you can see, more and more world-class teams, including Hurricanes, Gloucester, Saracens, the Chiefs, the Reds, Blues, some real good teams. And then the aim of the World League, as always, is to make your way up to the very, very top division, the Elite League, which at the minute has Wasps, Ospreys, Toulouse, Stade Francais, Leicester Tigers, Crusaders, Munster and the Brumbies. So that is the job and that is the task at hand to get in and amongst the big boys. But we are starting at the very bottom. And in the first game, we will be playing the Western Force. So let's have a little look at our starting 15. Not going to pretend to know any of these players. As you can see, we've got the value there. Um, we've got the rating in that down the bottom here. Let's just see if there's any... They're all about the 80-something. Is there anyone incredible not playing that we should put on 88 flanker we will be bringing him on for we got 84 84 we'll bring him on for this chap here let's have another look around see what we got 84 82 82 83 83 83 84 82 84 Yep, that should do it to be honest. Only the one change made. And that is our squad. Of course, once the transfer window op is open, we'll look at recruitment and bringing in some world-renowned players, hopefully. But let's just get off into the first game and see how we get on against the Western Force. So we're heading off to Perth to play the Western Force. I shall see you in the game. So here we are. We're in Perth. Nice looking buildings in the background. Nice small little stadium, a nighttime game. There is the Western Force team, the forwards. What I like about this mod is the little TV graphics they got there. So by Western Force, they've got Fox Sports. Here is Connick, who have got the old Setanta Sports up in the corner. It's been a little while since I've played this game, so be interesting to see how I get on in this one. But here we are, episode one, match one of the World League. Can we take the mighty Connick up a few divisions? Oh, Jamie Hagen there bursting through. What I love about this game compared to... Oh, here we go. Keep these away. Oh, Tre Trevoranus. Oh, dear God. Trevoranus. Have we gone over the line? Surely we have. Yes, we have already. Within three minutes, the first score of the game. Of course, depending on how we go, if it does turn out to be incredibly easy, we will whack it up to elite. But that was a great start in this game. Connick now with the conversion. Wind is going heavily right, so we're going to move it slightly to the left. Love the kicking on this game. Still so good. Swing it in. Oh, Jesus. The wind on that. So, unfortunately, we will not convert that first try. Well, they've gone massively out wide let's give it a kick ourselves kick it back I mean even to this day this game is just so much fun the game really hasn't 
come close to it, has it? So arcadey. Go down. Obviously not a bit of a set piece there. Obviously not a massively accurate recreation of real life rugby. Thunderous hit there, the old up and under. Duffy, let's see if we can go out. Oh, he's just been clipped. <laughs> used to just... Be... Oh, we've gone out play there. Terrible. What a hit that was. Oosh! Alright, let's remember how to do this. Oh, I thought we managed to jump there in front. Where are our players? Oh, luckily there's still a full back there. Surely we've won that back, yes. No, we haven't. What's happened? Oh, we've won ourselves a penalty. We will be punting, of course. Can we get to the touch? It's going to be close. Lovely. Still such a classic game this is. It really is. Ugh. One of my not so strong points is the old line outs. Big tackle on Hill. 20 minutes gone. Oh, lovely diving. Ah, oh, the nice offload there. Ryan Cross. Got any support? Get him out the touch, son. Lovely tackle. See what we can do here on the old line out. Oh, we finally won one. Frank Murphy, let's see what our forwards can do. Absolutely nothing. It's been instantly turned over. Oosh. Oh, that's got to be a penalty. Dangerous play. You've got to be so careful with these flying spear tackles. Surely from there they will have a kick at goal. Yes, they will. And the game will be... No, he won't. The wind causing havoc. So luckily for us... He's missed the penalty. Oh, he's burst straight through tons of players. I can never remember what just normal tackle is. On this game. Duffy, get yourself back there to fall back. Western Force knocking on the door. Ah, oh, lovely dive tackle. And we won the ball back. Beautiful stuff. Keatley kicks it away upfield. Oh, a lovely kick. Lovely kick from him. Got us out of trouble. Are they going to touch? No, they're not. So Duffy has got a chance to run with this. some forwards nice little offload straight into a big hit keep me again looking for touch what a beauty Let's see if we can do some here no they've gone short don't let them maul David Hill will kick it away. On the fall though, wasn't it? Lovely. Nice line out. Lovely pass. Offload. Let's go out right again. Oh, lovely pass. Fion Carr. Keith Matthews with the ball. We've still got it. Go out wide again. I love going to the blind side on this game. We won't this time. Forwards bursting through. Lovely. 
support him. Ah, they've won the ball back at half on the half time. Oh, he cannot. Couldn't just get there, unfortunately. Now this half time in this first matchup in the World League. What an interesting game it's been so far. Five point lead for Connick with an early try. Western Force had a chance to score a penalty, which they didn't do, luckily for us. Let's look at management, just to have a little look to see if there's any fatigue. There's stamina, which is all still at 95, so no major reasons to make any changes just yet. Let's start this second half and see what we can do. Let's get a bit of a looping up and under going from kickoff. See if anyone can challenge. Let's bind and push. That ball's not going anywhere, Force. Oh, oh dear. Nice break from them up to halfway line. Get back on side, Duffy. Offload into absolutely no one. I think we're going to have some low scoring games. Oh, a bit of a knock on there, was it? Looked like a knock on to me. Yep, yeah, scrum to Connock. Let's see what we can do. Yes, we've got it. We're pushing the scrum. Oh, absolutely no one there on the open side. Troy Nathan has got the ball out. Into Joe O'Connor. Can we keep the ball? We can. Let's get, there's no support there from the forwards that side. Oh, and somehow they've turned it over. Big strong hit there, and we've won the ball back. Let's get some forward support here. Ah, oh, terrible. What are the forwards doing? There's no pods on the open side. Flying spear tackle out of nowhere. Luckily for us, a horrendous piece of play from the Western Force. Our player was clearly offside there, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Surely we're winning that back. We are not. Diving tackle. Get him down. We're in trouble. Troy Nathan kicking the ball upfield. Not a bad kick. Nice tackle. Oh, is that going to be dangerous play again? It is. And they've got another penalty. I thought that was on the line, to be honest. The wind's going to blow that in. And have they nailed that? Looks like they have. So it's a two-point game with less than 20 minutes left. Can I go up this way and see what we can do on the weak side? Surely. There's no one hardly supporting up there. Huge hit. And they're away. Nick Cummins. Great to see the fullback picking up the slot there. Bernie Upton breaking to halfway. Connor. Hagen. Making our way slowly upfield. Keatley has gone inside. Ah, the dirty offload there. It's come unstuck by the looks of it. Straight to one of their players. Bit of a set play being worked on. Horrible tackle. Absolutely nowhere near. After this game, I'm going to have to go look to see what um, normal tackle is. What I seem to be doing is flying in with the old feisty ones like that great tackle less than 10 minutes left only two points in it 
Can we get possession back? We can. Got ourselves a penalty. We're not taking a quick one, that's for sure. We got time to waste. Well, that's slow. That's slow. Uh, looks just about like we'll be going into touch. Yes, we will. Handling in the ruck. We're on the 22. Nice. Cormish bursting through. We just don't want to concede possession. Bernie Upton. Plenty of support there. Hagen. Oh, I almost thought he fended everyone off then. Can we get a forward out to the right? Thank you. Matthews bursting through. 80 minutes on the clock. What do we do? Uh, I think we've got to get rid of it, haven't we? And just wrap up this game. Whew. I would have loved for you guys to uh, score another try there at the end. But I think when we're in this bottom league, close games like that, we just need to take the wins. Western Force not happy at all. Very, very close game, of course. If they'd have nailed that penalty in the first half, might have been a different story. But we shall certainly take that to start the World League. A feisty away trip to Perth. Let's have a little look at the team statistics. 52% possession. Force shaded territory. Not a lot to write home about. Obviously, the one try. Back to the tournament central. So, league match one. Result bonus, 39,000. So, we uh, won a fair bit from that matchup. Let's have a little look at the standings. We're about in the middle of the table. Of course, we play 1-1. One, one, one. So, all good for us. And up next, we will be playing Harlequins. So I hope you've enjoyed the first episode of this new series. Please do drop a like if you have. Of course, leave a comment down below. Let me know my plan of action and what it should be. Who do you want to see me recruit from the rugby world in 2010? Can we get Connacht flying up the leagues in this world league? You'll have to wait and see. If you haven't already, please do mool that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time in the Virtual Scrum.